I still get those light fruit sweetnesses. My mouth is actually watering as I was talking. <laughs> I just felt this just welling up. This is really, really mouth-watering delicious. So before I start drooling all over the place, let's go ahead and get to the sip with the water. Welcome to Whiskey's Journey. My name is Peter Fasciano. Today's journey, we're leaving Glen Allegy and we're gonna head down the road a little bit to Glenmore Distillery. Specifically, we're gonna be taking a look at the Glenmore 18-year-old single malt scotch. Let's get this poured, nose tasted, talked about, and then if you stick around to the end, I'm also gonna give it a score. As I'm nosing this, let's get the information of the whiskey out of the way. This is coming in at 47.2% ABV. It is non-chill filtered and no place on the bottle do I see natural color, but for some reason, something tells me that this is natural colored just because Graham Cool is the master distiller at the time. And also the information that I'm seeing online suggests that it is. If you guys know anything different, let me know in the comments down below. This is also coming in at a 750 milliliter bottle. And if you guys are just joining me, I'm in Phoenix, Arizona, and this bottle cost me $99. As I mentioned a second ago, Graham Cool was the master distiller at the time at Glenalkey. He has now since moved on to Dingle over in Ireland. On the nose, this is fruity sweet. The type of fruit I'm getting are the light fruits, peaches, grapes, maybe a little bit of apricot, some pineapple, a little bit of vanilla here, very little spice. I think this is coming in as a classic space side single malt. And I need to stop and let you guys know that my Monday series is coming to an end for the age stated single malt scotches. I have one left other than this one, and that's going to be Glen Farkless 25. As soon as I get done with this one, I'm going to move on to another set of whiskeys and I'm going to move into Japanese whiskeys. So if that sounds interesting to you guys and you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe down below. Turn on that bell notification so when I do go live with one of my videos on Monday, Wednesday, or Friday, you'll be notified. Share this with somebody in the whiskey world that might get an enjoyment out of it. So do all those things that YouTubers ask you to do. Nosing this a little bit more, I'm getting some, some more spice, not much, but it's dominantly the sweet, fruity side. Let's get to that first taste. At 47.2% ABV, this has a very nice warming feeling. This is a very crisp single malt. Everything on the nose is also coming through on the palate. Let's get that second sip going. Pineapple-y, grapey, vanillas, touch of barrel tannin on the side. Fantastic ABV feel in the throat, down in the chest. Barrel influence is definitely coming through here. What I'm getting here is really nice for an under the radar distillery, in my opinion. I'm gonna get to this in a second, but they have a ton of offerings for something that is kind of overlooked a little bit, especially for the price. A hundred bucks for an 18 year old whiskey, very, very nice. I'm getting the impression that this is one that you don't really necessarily need to think about, but it offers quite a bit for the age. Let's get that third sip in, then I'm gonna add water to this, talk a little bit about the distillery and the other offerings from Glenmore. Sweet, a little bit of spice, vanillas, very crisp. Don't have to think about it a whole lot. Just a well-rounded, nice balance, sweet with some spice, a little bit of barrel, it's actually pretty good. Let me go ahead and get some water in this and then we'll talk about it. Because the ABV is hitting me a little bit, I'm gonna add a little bit more water than I normally do. Maybe three, four, five drops. I think this is gonna be able to handle it fairly well, but we'll see. Get the glass coated a little bit here. Like I had mentioned, I don't know if this is natural color or not, but this is a very light golden color. Let this sit here for a little bit and talk a little bit about the distillery. The distillery was founded in 1897. Prior to the distillery making whiskey, they were actually an ale house. It was Elgin West Brewing, and they actually made ales dating back to the 1830s. Just like most distilleries, they shut down during World War I. They have a classic collection, and they have six offerings with that. They have five offerings in their heritage collection. This is the Elgin Heritage Collection, so they have five offerings of that. They have what they call their curiosity collection with all the different finishes, and they've got five offerings on that. They have a signature travel retail. They have three offerings there, and then they have three warehouse one collection and private cask offerings. So quite a bit of selection from this distillery. If this is not on your radar, I would highly suggest checking it out because this is a classic space side, 18 year old, coming in at a hundred bucks, well-rounded, not very complicated, Fantastic sweetness, nose goes on forever, a nice easy sipper with a lot to offer. So as I sit here and nose this with the water, 
There's more spice that comes out. The vanilla is a little bit more prominent here. I still get those light fruit sweetnesses. My mouth is actually watering as I was talking. <laughs> I just felt this just welling up. This is really, really mouth-watering delicious. So before I start drooling all over the place, let's go ahead and get to the sip with the water. Oh, that's interesting. The water brought out a little bit more of a floral note to it. Right as I was taking a sip, hit my tongue, I get a little bit more of an effervescence. Although those light fruits are still there, the peaches, the apricot, the vanilla, I know vanilla is not a light fruit, but the vanilla sweetness is there. I actually might prefer this a little bit more with a little bit of that water. I mean, it was good before, but, but the profile changed with that water. And for me right now, at this time of the review, that profile change is much better. Pineapple, apricot, vanilla, peaches, get that barrel in there. All right, one more sip and let's get on to the rating of this. Oh man, really, really good. All right, so my rating system is out of five stars. This was good before water, better for me after the water. A lot to offer, not a lot of complexity here, but it has a lot to offer and it's very well-rounded. Great mouthfeel, fantastic nose, classic space sight sweetness. I'm gonna give this one a solid four out of five stars. Each time I go back to this, with and without water, very pleasant and a hundred bucks. I know I mentioned this a couple of times, at the time that I actually bought this was $100. And I know prices of whiskeys have been going through the roof lately. If you do see this on the shelf and it's under 100 bucks, snag it. If it's slightly over 100 bucks, I'd grab it at that price as well. The only other two 18-year-old age-stated Scotch whiskeys that I have in my collection is the Tomatin. And I have an independent bottler. They're actually over here, so let me might as well pull it out. The whiskey, that is. I have the Tomatin 18. This is Oloroso Sherry Casks. And this is coming in at $114.99. I do believe Duncan and Taylor is an independent bottler. And they independently bottled in Altmore. Duncan and Taylor Dimensions Single Malt Scotch Whiskey. 18 years. And this was $179.99. So the Duncan and Taylor coming in at $179, 18-year-old featuring Altmore. These are the only other 18-year-old whiskeys that I have in my collection. And, you know, the Tomatin coming in at $114 is really close to a good value as well uh, compared to the $179 for the independent bottler. So there you have it, four stars out of five. If you see it on the shelf and you're inclined to pick it up, I would suggest picking it up. And with all that being said, that's where I'm gonna leave it. Enjoy your journey. Again, do all those things that YouTubers ask you to do. Like, subscribe, share, turn on those bell notifications. And until the next time, we'll talk to you guys later.